Hi guys, so today I'm reviewing this small rig aluminum travel tripod that I got off of Amazon. Now, size wise, pretty compact. I mean, you can fit this in your backpack, no problem. It's probably about 14 inches when it's all folded up like this. Now, as far as traveling though with it, it is a little on the heavy side and it's aluminum, it's not carbon fiber. So it definitely adds some heft and weight to your bag, uh, but for the price, right? I mean, you can't beat it. Um, it's nice because it also doubles as a monopod. Now, when I first got it, I was trying to figure out where the monopod was, probably just me. And then I realized, oh, that's why one of the legs actually unscrews right there. And that turns into your monopod. And the head also unscrews and then screws right into that. And voila, you have a pretty lightweight monopod uh, that you can, you know, take traveling with you if you just want a monopod. So anyway, screw that back in and it's pretty easy to set it up as a tripod. All you do is flip these legs down, that nice little locking, uh, locking buttons right here. If you wanna push it up further, you wanna fold it back up, all you do is loosen it a little bit and then just push down on this little button and that lets you slide the legs up. So anyway, so undo it. I like that it can go relatively low, obviously because it has this long neck on it, it can only go that low to the ground, but it's pretty easy to lower it or raise it. You just got that knob there and boom, there you go. Uh, if you wanna go lower, right? You can bring the legs out, that kind of thing. Now it is nice because it has a really long neck on it. It actually has two stages. So stage one and then another one, stage two. So you can get up pretty high with this thing. Now, the one issue that I had is the ball head keeps unscrewing whenever I'm trying to adjust it. So just be aware of that. You might wanna put some Loctite or something on there to keep it from unscrewing as you're moving stuff around. But really, like you can put some heavy duty payloads on this thing. Uh, I mean, I've put DSLR with like a 7200 lens and once you lock it down tight, like you're good. Now, I wouldn't go with a video camera or something, you know, uh, FS5 with a Shogun or FS6 or something, uh, that's going to be too much. But for just your regular, you know, DSLR or mirrorless camera, this is going to work really well. Now it does come with a few items in the package. Comes, it comes with two of your standard quick release plates, uh, comes mm -hmm. with a phone mount. And a nice addition is that it has these little uh, pointy feet. Right, So if you're gonna be outside, you're gonna be on the side of a mountain or something where you wanna make sure your tripod isn't gonna slide around, you can screw these little guys into the bottom of the tripod feet and your tripod's gonna be locked in. I do like that they have these as detachable pieces versus ones that are built into the 